Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, last time was so funny. <laughs> I always get a little nervous after a really funny, silly, happy one because I'm like, oh God, what are they setting me up for? But at the same time, I really needed that breather. I really needed that laugh. It was a really, really good time. And it was just, by the end, it was, just, I mean, it was just like a slapstick. It was so, it was so silly. You guys were comparing it in the comments to Looney Tunes. And I'm like, yes, that's, that's accurate. Yes. Um, so yeah, guys, um, just kind of a silly, happy, lighthearted one for once. Um, still very bizarre. Um, I don't have a lot more to say about it. I will just briefly kind of cover anything that I didn't last time. Um, but before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. All right. Um, Boingo and Boingo were delightful. I mean, they weren't delightful because they like, they were, I mean, in a way, I kind of started to feel bad for them throughout the episode because it's just so ridiculous how much they're getting their butts handed to them. Like, particularly the older one, I think it was Oingo. Um, but then again, like, they did kind of, like, kill the restaurant owner and, like, they're not good people by any stretch of the imagination. But, like, at one point, you're like, oh, my God. Like, just give them a break. Give this. But, um, oh, yeah, one person pointed out that there was a point at which... Um, like if something hadn't happened, like it actually would have been Jojo, like actual Jojo getting his head blown up, um, which I thought was, I didn't catch it in the episode. Um, oh yeah, Polnareff cigarette. It actually was Polnareff cigarette. I got confused about that. Um, but yeah, it actually was his, that like, <laughs> I don't know. It was just such a silly comedy of errors. Um, it, re it really did turn into, a, like, a cartoon by the end of it. Um, oh, what did it for me was the orange. What, <laughs> when we go through all that and then they just throw the orange out the way, that's when I was like, oh, my God. I just, I, I can just feel, like, all of my sanity and everything just, like, floating away as I watch this hilarious, silly thing. Um, so, yeah, guys, and I love, like... In the car with the whole like, oh, you guys pointed out that the cigarette thing was a reference to Nightmare on Elm Street, which I didn't get at all. And I love Nightmare on Elm Street, so I don't know how I didn't get that. Um, but during that whole part and like the whole car scene, I'm like, oh my God, they know. They know and they're trying to like trip him up. So we learned something new about JoJo. Apparently he could just do tricks with cigarettes in his mouth. Like apparently that's just all happening off camera. So yay to that. Um... But also, like, there's a part of me that just loves it so much more that none of them had any clue whatsoever by the end of that episode. Like, they never even knew. Like, it was even better than The Sun. And, and that's really saying something, because that was a great, silly episode as well. Um, but yeah, guys, it was just, it was a good laugh. I don't know why we're going to need the laugh. I have a feeling we're going to, you know, that usually means we're going to hit some serious stuff. But we'll get through it. We'll get through it. I'm still looking forward to it. I'm sure we'll have our our humor and fun stuff here and there and of course just bizarre it's always bizarre um so yeah guys i really thoroughly enjoyed it i cannot wait for the next arc without further ado what do you say we go ahead and we jump into the next episode of jojo's bizarre adventure let's do this that's right Good, he's gonna be okay. How are his eyes? Oh, good! Yay! Oh! Oh, he's so cute! He's got good eyes! He's such a good little boy! He's like, that dog is mine. Oh, he's going to warn them. Oh, does he, is it just, is it people that he hates or is it just Paul? <laughs> is it just Paul? <laughs> I 
And he's farting. And he's farting. And everyone, everyone loves it. It's a big hit. It's very entertaining. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I just... Oh, everyone's having it. Oh, he just keeps farting. He just could be worse. He could be farting actually on the face, you know? He is, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, is this going to be, are we? Oh, what's the sword doing here? This is going to end very badly. I'm calling it now. Oh. I have a feeling there's more to it to get it open. Ow. Oh, there. Oh, ow. No. How, though, was still in its thing? Yep, there's something wrong here. It's a sword to stand. I, that's, you're very brave to touch it after all that. Watch this individual's go, yeah, okay. There it is. It's waiting for a certain someone. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, and we're, and we're back to being greedy. Okay, cool. We're gushing blood and we got stabbed. Okay, yep, this 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 adds up. This adds up. Oh, and the sword is quite clearly moving on its own. It is slicing heads and chests, and uh, we're okay. Yeah, it's it's a stand for sure. It's the the so the whole sword. The whole sword is a stand. Oh. Now the sword is speaking. Anubis. Gotcha. And I can see that you have taken on a very different personality now. Oh, there's still one person left. Oh, please don't do anything to the cow. I really don't want to see the cow get hurt. Oh, okay. And it's the person. And the cow was not hurt. Okay. And of course, the oh, wow, specific. <sighs> this is gonna be really, really bad. Oh, oh, how's Iggy gonna feel about you taking his coffee flavored gum? He might fart on you for that. Was it? Was it? Oh! I hope you're right or else you... Oh! Oh no. Oh, and he's got the gum. He's like, how dare you take my gum? Oh no! Have we found ourselves in... Oh dear. Oh no. That's not good. It's why we never stray from the group. Oh, and yet we're being very bold this time. Oh! 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 And it's... Oh, dear! God of death, which would be why the fly died instantly. No, 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 no. I mean, we're very direct. Uh, you almost kind of have to appreciate that. I really wish we had back up on this. I don't believe in you, Polar, but I'm very concerned. Yeah, put it together. The actual person is an amateur, yet the sword itself is very powerful. I feel like all you need to do is get touched. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, all you need to do is, like, it doesn't even need to be a deep cut. Oh, dear God, no. Oh, dear God, no. I'm not losing Polnareff like this. 
God. And he's gushing all that blood, even just from that. Like, not even a direct hit. Like, almost like a redirected hit. Oh, no. This is really bad. We really need our crew. Oh, no. He's going to show up right behind you and stab you. Oh, God, no. That's what's happening. Uh, please don't get overconfident, though, because I feel like there's probably a way around the pillars. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, oh knock a pillar onto him. Yeah, okay, yep. can cut them in half and use them as weapons and or footing. Huh? See, see, the thing is, he too is a swordsman of kinds with silver chariot. Whoa, wow. Okay, I should not have been worried. Cool, awesome. Way to go, Polnareff. Whoa. So it's a good thing that didn't happen. Unless a uh, sword goes and gets another user. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! They couldn't possibly be doing what I think they're about to do. They're not going to make... No way. No way. No way. Don't, 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 don't. He's not going to become the sand user, is he? That would be awful. Iggy, save him! Save him! Oh, God. Oh, thank God. I've never been so happy to see you guys. Please never, ever wander off again. Iggy is mad! Oh, no. Don't tell me it already happened. <laughs> um, actually, we've been kind of in the middle of a fight. <laughs> of course he did. Where did the sword go? Oh, God, it's getting away. It's, a oh, a bunch of, okay, did not expect that. Did not expect to see a bunch of mice carrying the sword away. But it let him for just like a second. Yeah, that's just what I was saying. Why are we going off alone? Uh, Iggy, Iggy is sensing the sword. Yeah, see, a dog will always sense it. A dog will sense it right away. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Because Jotaro will put it together really, really quickly. Not the Polar F won't. I'm just saying. It couldn't hurt. Why did we stop off to get a haircut first? Maybe after we drop it off? Of course, just going to catch back up anyway. I see. So that's that's why where we need a little we need a little okay. Ah I don't like this. There's an awful lot of sharp things. What? Oh my god, is the is the barber in on it? Don't tell me. Jotaro, are you are you uh is your is your JoJo sense tingling right now? <laughs> Who? Oh god, oh god. I don't like this. No, don't go anywhere near here. No, 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 no. Ah, he's got the sword. No. Ah, no. Oh, my Lord. So did the sword affect this person? Okay. Oh. 
That was the end? What? Oh my god, they did that so fast. What? No. <laughs> Guys. Wow. Okay. Can I just say right now that um it I don't know what it is. The the straight razor thing effect when it's used in like movies and TV and stuff. I get so freaked out. I get so freaked out whenever I see like a straight razor and I feel like they only ever use it. I have only ever seen it used in situations where they are trying to provoke and create tension. Like that's the only time I've ever seen anyone get shaved with a straight razor in a movie or anything like any kind of anything. Like I don't know why at this point like anyone would have that done <laughs> after it's been used as such a trope. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. A anyone out there who has had it done? Is there anyone out there who has had, like, a straight razor shave? Is it, like, a huge difference between, like, a regular razor shave? Because if the difference is minuscule, I, I, wait, well, I would not even risk it. I would not even risk it. After everything I've seen, like I said, I've only ever seen it used and in a setting where um, they're trying to create tension with it. Like somebody's got the razor and either they're about to kill the person or they're like threatening to kill the person. That's the only time I've ever seen a straight razor. That's what's called, right? A straight razor? A straight razor. I'm sure it is probably a really close shave. You know, it probably is, but I don't, I seriously, like if, if I, if I don't think I would risk it if I had facial hair, <laughs> I'm not going there. Give me, give me the, whatever it is, the little bick or little mocks or whatever. Oh my Lord. Okay, guys, that was so nerve wracking and I cannot believe they, I, I kept on saying cut off the episode and I'm like, it's just too punny. Um, I cannot believe that they ended the episode where they did just, I felt like they ended at mid-scene. And you know I always whine and complain about this anyway, that they have left me on a cliffhanger, but this time it felt especially bad. Um, all right, guys. Again, I'm guessing, it lo what it looks to me like is that the actual sword itself is the stand, the god Anubis. And the sword is like infecting almost or possessing, if you want to put it that way, others. In order to be wielded, does not even have to be wielded well. Just needs to literally be picked up and aimed in a direction. And it doesn't even have to cut. Like that part freaks me out. That you don't even have to cut the person you're trying to cut. All you have to do is cut something and you can like affect them with it. That makes it like way scarier to me because otherwise if the sword is being wielded badly, you literally just have to stay out of range. You literally just have to stay away. Although the person did seem to have like a lot of speed too upon being possessed. Um, so it would be a little tricky, I think, but you know, I mean, you put this, you put Polnareff in a situation like this where, like, Polnareff has Silver Chariot, which is literally, like, a really expert swordsman, and, like, it shouldn't even be a fair fight, right? And it wasn't, except that the sword is, of course, the sword, of course, the sword, of course, the sword is sentient. Of course, the sword is sentient, because it's Jojo. Because Jojo. Um, speaking of Jojo, I'm really glad that he came with us, because... I feel like he's going to put it together the quickest. Um, not disparaging Polnareff whatsoever, but I feel like it could take a tiny bit longer for him to be able to process the situation in a way where um, we're going to know what's going on. Like, we the audience know, because we've, we've got behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, all right, guys. It is a really cool sword, though. It almost kind of reminds me of, like, the whole, um, like, pulling the sword out of the stone thing just a little bit. Like, in the way that it was, like, waiting for a certain person. Um, but, obviously, like, we're not pulling it out of stone. We're pulling it out of its sheath, hilt, case, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it does seem to be, like, waiting for a particular kind of person. It really freaked me out when I thought that 
where they were going with this is that it was going to possess Polnareff. I don't even know if that's a thing that could be done. Like, can you, uh, he already has a stand, so maybe you can't even do that. But that would have been, that would have been really scary. Because he is good with a sword. So, like, or at least a stand is. I don't know if you can do that, though. I don't know how that would work. Um, hmm. Hopefully we won't have to find out. Um, but that was a really good episode. And like I said, whenever it's Kakuin or Polnareff, Abdul, I feel like, I mean, I'm not going to say anyone has plot armor here. It just doesn't exist on this show. It literally existed only one time with Joseph, and that was because he literally had not impregnated anybody. <laughs> This is the only time I feel like there has ever been a hint of plot armor on this show. Otherwise, no. Like, all butts are off. Like, they sh they've shown me that from the very start. However, when it's, like, Kakuin is safe for right now because he's off in the hospital. And, like, as much as I hate to see him hurt, he's doing better. He's going to be fine. Like, it does sound like he'll get his eyesight back. Um, his eyes will heal. Um, he will be okay. He's just, like... He's just out for a little while. And honestly, that almost means like he's safer right now. Um, but when it comes to Kakuin and Polnareff, I'm just like, I feel like I'm just holding my breath. You know what I mean? Especially now that we're in part two of the story. You know? I don't know. I think you all get it. I think you all get it. But watch him like be unpredictable and like everyone makes it out this time. Just because. Just because. Because they can. Um... All right, guys, that was a really, really, really good episode. Really cool stand, really um, creative. I love how creative we can get with the stands, and this is no exception. So, yeah, uh, looking forward to seeing where it's going, but I'm hoping that we can just make it out unscathed. It would be really nice. Um, we already have, like, the, I mean, not even a direct hit and, like, gushing blood. Well, there was a lot of gushing blood in this one, guys. If you're watching JoJo and you don't think that gushing blood could be a possibility... You don't know JoJo. <laughs> I do want to point out that Iggy is fully aware. Iggy is fully aware. If you're ever, if you uh, always listen to a dog, always listen to a dog. The dog knows. Um, all right, guys. Great episode. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. I can't wait to see how it all gets resolved. Please be sure to join me next time. Please don't leave me on all of this tension of uh, Polnareff's neck literally being on the line. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.